with our double link list, uh, you can actually run this code right now. It should produce output. Uh, but all I did so far is just modify node to have a uh, previous in addition to a next. Uh, my link list. We need not just a head, but also now a tail. Uh, in the constructor, you probably should set the tail to null as well when you create it. Uh, but in, And I described in other videos, I don't want to give you the code for add and remove, but in the other videos, I've explained how to deal with previous and what to set it to when you're going to add or remove. But in order to know if your code's working, you're going to need to see what the nodes actually contain. Before we did that with toString, but the problem is if you look at toString, it starts at the head and goes using next, iterating through the end. So toString will never tell you if there's a problem with previous. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to write a toString, but I need to give it a different name. And my new toString is going to go backwards. So it's good to start with this. Now, I can't have the same name, so I'm going to call it toString2. And notice, first thing, it's going to complain about override. Method does not override or implement a method from a super type. So I'm going to go in a little more detail as to uh, uh, super types and subclassing. Uh, but for right now, we implement list and iterable. And list has a toString, which we overwrote right here. But list and iterator, neither of them have a toString2. Two so what that means is I can't use the override anymore because I'm not overriding a method that exists. I'm creating a brand new one. Uh, you'll notice some languages you actually put the word new in here, uh, but we're not, not in Java. All right, how do we modify this? Well, we want to basically, instead of start at the beginning, we're going to start at the end. So pretty much where it says head, we want to use tail. Uh, but not only that, of course, we're going to use the data, that's fine. But instead of every time we use next, we're going to change that to previous. And I think that's all the changes we need right here. Uh, to test this, we're going to go into our testing code. <clears throat> so I'm going to test iterator. Probably don't want to use the own to test basics. We did a lot of stuff here. I'm just going to duplicate. Well, I need to add some stuff. Let's duplicate all this. Boom. So I'll scroll out so you can see what I duplicated right here. So I just duplicated the first, I don't know, 15, 20 lines of test basics. All right, do all this. I don't really care about the, I probably should check that later, but for purposes of this, I'm gonna delete it. Uh, so we created a list, printed it out, added stuff, um, and now I'd like to print it out again after we added stuff. And I can't call them both test basics, so let's call this test basics too. All right, that should eliminate the error. The error was saying that I have two methods called test basics, not allowed. Now I have only one called test basics, and now test basics two, which was the only one we're going to run. All right, let's give this a run. It should print out. <clears throat> I'm not using my two string two here. Uh oh. All right, could not find or load main class. That's fine. Uh, usually when you hit play, if it doesn't know where, where the public static void main is, it will ask you, but it didn't do it this time. So the way to fix that, right click. This is the project here. Actually, I should be browsing like this. I'm sorry for browsing in the file view, but I should be browsing in the project. 
Lab 4, right click properties, and under the run, main class, it's listed here, but I'm gonna hit browse and just do it again. That did actually modify it. I have a feeling I didn't see what was there, but I think this, actually let's cancel it and do it all over again to see what, what was there originally. Yeah, so it had the old, the old version here. So select main class, okay, run. <clears throat> there we go, so we added that stuff, good, works. All right, I wanna do test the two string two. Oh, caps lock, that's fun. All right, we got a problem. Two string is a method that will work, no problem, no error, but two string two won't work. And I wanna explain why that won't work in the next video, because it's actually pretty tricky. Uh, and it comes down to what we did on line 69 right here. And we declared it as a list, but then we created a my link list. And I'll break that down in the next video.